The 20 foot claws really just is a representation of what riding big waves means to me. This is my life's work. This is my life's focus. Everything drops. If the surf's big, I'm not available. Once the waves are above a certain size, they're so rare and they're so precious to me, you're just not gonna miss it. Not gonna miss the swell. We made a, a big wave movie called Riding Giants and they were premiering it at the Sundance Film Festival and we had a giant swell. And I'm like, I can't, I'm not gonna go. And Gabby went with uh, one of my daughters who was months old at the time. And they were like, well, where's Laird? And she's like, mm, there's a giant swell and he's not gonna make it. I mean, in the movie we talked about it and it would be like, the irony would be that I would go there and kind of go against everything that, you know, my philosophy. You, you're showing people how professional you are that you will actually design your life in a way that you can pursue the thing that is your essence. It's the thing that you're drawn to. I mean, Gabby will say she's re been rewarded by that draw that I have because because that I focus to her. Those swells in those days, those are just for moments, but there's a whole year that I'm able to take that focus and steer it towards them and store my training and towards my work and towards all the other stuff. So how do you channel energy properly, right? So a bright light in your face is gonna blind you, but pointed in a distance is gonna light the path. Find your special purpose. You need something that is in your biology that brings you that fulfillment. And if you don't have one, you need to find one. And, uh, and if you do have one, then you need to continue to pursue it. My dad always used to say, you know, big wave riders are born and not made. You're born with that need and that draw and that passion that's just in you, but you have to aim it correctly. And, and you can also cultivate it too. I mean, there's a, there's an aspect of it. I mean, you may have a, a, a light that it's not, doesn't, it's not so intense, but it burns consistently longer. It's like Gabby and I always talk about, it. like I'm like the big spotlight and she's like the pilot light. She's just always on and always steady and just the steadiness of that. There's room for all of it, right? It's just what one do you have and how do you use your passion? Maybe you're an artist and you're able to see depth and you're able to look at stuff a certain way, you know, maybe. Uh, so I think that there's all the different facets of it and we all have different versions. It's just important for you to seek out what brings that out of you, what brings out your, your interest, your draw. If, if your only job while you're alive is just to make sure that you don't have regrets when you die, that works, <laughs> that's good. <laughs>